Hello everyone, Vitam. Today I wanted to make a video about uh, a response I got, a comment I got on one of my videos a few weeks ago. And I am honestly wondering if uh, many, not all Polish people think like this, because it's this uh, comment. And I know that it's it has good intentions, and but it's more like an advice. <laughs> um, but it is interesting to me because it says to me that I should look for a Polish husband and give him children, and then that I am respected as a Polish mother. Um, so I'm wondering: Do Polish people overall think? like this, that you should uh, live these roles as a woman? Or is it the just the older Polish people? Um, I can imagine that it comes from religion, of, co of course. But I am wondering if it's like this in all of Poland. Because for me, um, it's like, <laughs> so I have, a, I have mixed feelings about this. Um, because first of all, I don't think that you should look for someone. Because when you're looking for someone, most of the time, you know, it's, it's like kind of desperate. And I think people come into your life when you're ready for it. And that's how it always went with me, with my uh, past relationships, with my friendships, like everything. When, when someone comes into my life, then, you know, I will feel that it's right. Um, of course, I'm open to it, but it's not that I'm look actively looking or something. Um, second, a woman gives a man children. <laughs> I'm questioning that part a little bit as well, because I think a woman chooses for herself to be a mother. And this is a very personal one, because I will explain to you um, also why this gives so many mixed feelings for me. Uh, but first, um, the third one, that you are not complete as a woman if you don't have a husband. <laughs> I. I don't think that's true uh, for me personally as well. It, it has very personal reasons um, that you're not good enough when you're alone and that something is missing. And I uh, had all these feelings in the past because now my personal story comes. Um, I was in a relationship with a Dutch man for seven and a half years. So I met him when I was, I think, 20. 21, I was 21, and we had an age gap, so he was 29 at that time. And I was to, I was just beginning at the university, doing my human movement sciences um, studying at the university, and he already owned a house, he had his job, and um, really nice, we traveled a lot, and you know, I... And we discovered that we had kind of the same dreams, like we both wanted to travel a lot. We both wanted to leave the Netherlands and live other places to see, you know, more of the world and to, to meet people from all over the world. We had big, big dreams together. Um, but when I was ready to pursue those dreams and travel the world at, after my, my university, it didn't happen. <laughs> so I was ready. I also told him. But then I had a feeling that he didn't take the steps to really pursue those dreams with me. And I at that time had those feelings that I was not enough being on my own, that I would not be good enough when I would go on my own. I didn't have the confidence, I didn't have the self-worth in me. So I the years that followed I had a feeling that I was stuck. And then I got the depression and the panic attacks and um, that's changed everything for me because that's taught me to look inside of me 
I healed all those things and then um, then I also had a feeling you know maybe now I'm ready to become a mother <laughs> and then travel the world with and travel as a family um, but then the last <laughs> um, fight that we had um, was him telling me that he didn't want kids anymore that he was ready to be become a father in the beginning of our relationship he did what that was the first time that he told me that so in our whole relationship he didn't he didn't tell anything about that to me and i when i was healing from my depression i told him many times um, like i am ready now to become a mother and maybe we can you know then take our kids and travel the world he was not responding to that he was just very distant from me even though we were living together so when we had that last fight and he told me all those things and like really blaming me that i didn't give him kids <laughs> i felt that it was enough for me because now i knew my worth i knew um, what i deserved and I knew that I deserved to follow my dreams and that it was not going to be with him. So I discovered that I was good enough on my own and that I was ready to go on my own and to be alone because that's, that was very important for me to then follow my dreams, follow my heart uh, that led me out of the Netherlands to Poland and then discover who I am and discover that I am good enough, that I have a purpose in this world and um, I am happy now uh, on my own. That doesn't mean that I'm not open to relationships, but it means that I can share my happiness and pure love that I have inside me without needing another person. And that's the state where I am now. And that's why this response, the comment that I got on my video why I had to respond in this way to you as well to ask if this is a, a thing that most Polish people would advise me or you know I'm, I'm really curious it's not that I'm judging or wanted to change anything about Polish culture or something but I'm just curious if this is how most Polish people think about relationships and the role of a woman in in life so please let me know <laughs> first i want to focus on being with my family because tomorrow my niece isa she is her birthday and then um, sunday i will totally focus on um, being with my family because on monday i leave the north of the netherlands and go south to meet with my krakow family in the hague for a week can't wait to, sh to see them again and to celebrate some birthdays with them as well and then um, 28th of May, I fly back to Poland and then uh, I, have, I will meet many people there and um, I think I will explore some places. If you have any questions as well for me or family, please comment down below. Also, don't forget my, my Polish channel. Uh, I will make, I, I promise I will make more, more videos there. Um, I'll be a <laughs> I'll see you soon. Have a great weekend and thank you all. Bye. Mm -hmm.